Hi everybody, Cheryl and Lady coming to you from the Ladies Garden and Home. And what do you do when your eyes are hurt by the mist of a smoke of a distant fire? Well, you prioritize. That's what you do. Anyway, today I'm going to show you how I'm reconfiguring some of my priorities for my garden while we're undergoing this, um, this smoke storm. I hope you join us. Right now it's not so bad. Um, yesterday it was terrible here in Connecticut. If you don't know where I'm from, I'm from Southwest Connecticut, not that far from the New York border and not far at all from New York City. And I'm sure you saw lots and lots of pictures of New York City yesterday, but this is what it was like uh, in my neighborhood. I still feel it in my, um, I feel it in my sinuses. I definitely feel it in my eyes, my throat, and not today, but yesterday, I definitely felt it in my chest. Anyway, I shouldn't complain because um, those poor Canadians, I can't imagine uh, having so much of your country just burning right now. So my thoughts are with them and, and everybody's helping uh, to put out the fires. My constant companion lady isn't out here today. I don't think it's smart to let her out for very long. Um, she doesn't need to be puttering around while I'm shooting a video. But if you're like me in a section of the country, I think there's a hundred million people in the United States who are affected by this smoke. Um, I just, I, I kind of wanted to show you what I've decided to do uh, in a very, very busy month and a very busy week of the month for my garden tasks. So how do I take this very long list of things that I wanted to get accomplished this week um, and shorten it down so I'm really just prioritizing what needs to be done and just putting off until the weather's a little bit better <coughs> when I, I can get around to it. Transplanting. I have got a ton of flowers that I want to transplant and pop into the holes uh, in the garden beds where they'll have enough room to grow and be beneficial to the vegetables. And now that I've got pretty much all of the vegetables in, I really wanted to do that. I've got sweet peas, nasturtium, marigolds, and it's although it's not a flower, I want to, uh, I do have a lot of basil that I want to get in amongst the peppers and that's gonna wait. Then come along and, and mulch in the areas um, where I don't want weeds to pop up. And I really don't like to mulch until I've got pretty much everything planted. So, both of those things, the mulching and the um, transplanting of flowers, that's going to have to wait. So direct sowing, uh, putting the, the seeds in the ground um, where I want them to go. There were a bunch of things that I wanted to direct sow, although luckily I got my carrots and my beets in last week but I wanted to do another round of cilantro, um, another round of dill. I wanted to uh, plant out um, another round of lettuces because I can tell mine are on the way out and I found some varieties that would be really good for the, the heat of the summer, hopefully. The direct sowing I'm gonna put off. Weeding. Um, because I haven't mulched yet, I've got a lot of tiny weeds popping up in all of the beds and I really need to get to that, but I'm gonna wait. So I really wanted to add compost to these grow bags. These are the potatoes and you know, it's, it's known as mounding up when you, um, just kind of add soil. Some people use straw, but the idea is really to keep the light out to make sure that the potatoes don't turn green. So that's something that I'm also going to wait on. Now here's some things that really are priorities and I really can't wait on. Um, I really need to harvest some broccoli uh, because 
I waited too long and one of them's about to flower, so I really need to get on top of that. And then watering. Watering is probably going to be my biggest priority because they've been teasing us with rain and we've gotten practically nothing. It's spit for a couple of minutes the other day, but it's been very dry here. So I'm gonna show you how I do it um, both ways, when I do it the long way and when I do it the condensed version. My usual method of watering when a plant begins to get pretty established, like the celery here, oh, there's a weed. No weeding, Cheryl, prioritize. Sorry, I couldn't, I couldn't take it. Anyway, um, is to just basically let the water run for a couple of minutes and really soak up the water and kind of drench the bed and this way I don't have to do it um, usually more than twice a week. When they're smaller and I've just planted them I do this maybe one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then I move to the next one ten and then I move to the next one but I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm not gonna worry about giving them such a good drenching. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna give them a nice little drink. But if I, did, if I do my, but when I do my regular method, I'm here for quite a long time. So sorry fellas, it's got to be enough to keep you alive right now. But the real priority are the tiny seedlings that are just coming up and where I've sown and they haven't even come up yet. So this I have to, at least I don't have to do it for a long time, but I do have to give it, but I do have to give them a nice misting. I really have to do this every day. They will dry out and die. I direct sowed these about a week ago, a week to 10 days ago, not all at once. I did the beans first, then the beets and the carrots after I had transplanted the peppers. I really wanted to pot up these zucchinis this week, um, they're outgrowing their pots. Um, I'm not gonna put these out into the garden until after um, squash vine borer season is over. Uh, but I do wanna pot them up into bigger pots and separate them out. There's three to a pot right now. This is something, even though when the weather is warm, I would like to do outside to get the mess outside, but I'm gonna messy up my kitchen so that I can still do that. And then also more indoor um, stuff is I really need to get some seeds started. I have this in my May video, but um, there's plenty of seeds that we need to start thinking about for the fall garden and even the winter garden at this point. So I'm going to be sowing inside um, some purple sprouting broccoli that will grow over the winter. I'm going to um, sow some broccoli rob and some Brussels sprouts and some cabbage, some Dutch, what's it called? Late Dutch cabbage, which is a fall cabbage. So I'm going to be doing that inside. So messy kitchen time again. Well, I think I'm gonna sign off because um, my eyes are starting to bother me a little bit and um, I have to feed Lady. So I wanted to thank you for joining me. If you are one of the millions and millions that are affected by this, please stay careful. I got one of these N95 masks 
Um, I ordered it yesterday and they were here this afternoon. And although I hate, hate, hate wearing masks, I can tell a big difference when I have it on. I can't smell the, honestly, it smells kind of like um, a fire pit mixed with incense. I don't know if that makes sense. Anyway, um, but thank you for joining me today. And uh, despite everything, enjoy your gardening journey. Bye.